All right, so uh, let's start. Here, Milay, uh, ED doctor is going to be the ED doctor <coughs> at the top. You know, all everything else is correct. Uh, date format is fine. And dear sir, madam, why dear sir, madam? Dear doctor, the reader of the letter, go doctor. So obviously we're going to write doctor there. Jen Smith, you can put Miss in front. It's uh, less than eighteen. Yeah, it's a little girl. Uh, I mean, a teenage girl. So uh, you can put Miss M I S S in front if you really want to. So I'm I'm writing to refer uh, Jen Smith, a seventeen year old stu student. You can also write maybe your uh, first year or last year or final year college student. Also, you can do that. In that way, you know, social history can be bypassed. But this is also correct. Who has shown frequent syncopal episodes and requires your assessment and management? Okay. Who has shown? Who has had is going to be better. Who has had uh, frequent syncopal episodes and requires your assessment and management? That's a better option. Hmm. Okay. Jen Smith is one of our uh, final year students. They were one of the nurse Yeah, I'm one of the attending nurses. Similarly, whenever you use one of expression then it's going to be students so jen smith is one of our final year students who is doing bachelor of science in education all right makes sense he is uh he goes to well jen is a girl uh, uh she is fit and healthy however has shown a repeated history of uh shown i mean you're writing the same thing in the introduction and you're writing the same thing in the beginning of the paragraph uh par beginning of the second paragraph so um okay anyways let's check this first had, however had shown repeated history of syncopal episodes jen smith has been you do not need to keep writing jen smith jen smith every time you can use a pronoun like he or she yeah or you can just write jen the given name right has been showing uh, this history for the past three years you don't show history uh, please mute um you don't show the history um, it's not three years it's last year isn't it one happened last year and then another one happened this year where is the three years history uh the, his his and her first episode was on october 2000 in that's a month you need to have in there in october 2009 where she where she fainted after running two kilometers at a school race and remained you're talking about something in the past sitting in the present only present no boss era past you have to have ed there unconscious for less than one minute with heart rate of this similarly she fainted after two months for the second time at that time she also fainted for less than one minute with the heart rate of this this uh, and all other vital signs were stable the main concern is that comma come on he had no she had fainted repeatedly and showed increased heart rate therefore your assessment okay makes sense what you've written i mean uh, the vibe is there but uh, the sentence formation and the structure is not very matured it is better you write like this jen smith uh, one of our final year students um uh, pursuing or, or who's studying bachelor's of science in education had uh, two syncopal episodes uh, the last year and this year with the first one being on this date when she was running in a race and another one this year uh, when she was uh, stepping out of the uh, vehicle or stepping out of the, bu out of the bus now put a full stop and you can compare on both occasions on both episodes during the both episodes she was unconscious for less than a minute and her heart rate was elevated to 148 beats per minute and 156 beats per minute respectively however other parameters were normal it is also important to note that she blamed her school stress and cold uh, for this right her students I'm sorry, her classmates uh, between the episodes around Kun Manthiyotya Tiyolehira. Her classmates um, noticed her to be comparatively pale and had reported the teacher then. Then you change the paragraph and write about what's going on today. So today she presented. Where's today? We had a discussion with the patient today and that's why this referral is being made and we have convinced the patient that the heart rate is high that's why you need a uh, you need an evaluation yeah milenayo so in jen smith lives with her mother he's with her mother and brother as as her parents are divorced um 
Jen's, you don't need to write Jen Smith every time, Jen's mother, uh, Jen's parents have divorced and she currently lives with her brother and mother. His mother has, her mother has Graves disease uh, and he is allergic to, we don't care about the allergy to prawn, we don't care about allergy to crabs and shellfish. Prawns, crab or self, shellfish, okay, we can write it but still. We have discussed about his condition, no, today. Today she presented. And today, uh, we don't, we, we should not be using I, we, our, it's better to use a passive voice. She was discussed regarding her condition. Write it in that form. Yeah. Uh, please note that her parent, her mother has also needs to be informed as she doesn't want to put any pressure on them. You can write like that. Yeah. Mila Nayo. We have to. <clears throat> I mean. Everything is there, but still, uh, there are a lot of things that's missing. Where are the other homeworks? Can you please send me? Only one person submitted the homework? Come on. It doesn't matter even if it's wrong. The most important thing is that you have to submit. This one's not correct also, but you know, Sonisha, she still sent it, isn't it? I will teach you how to write it, of course. Where's the homework? Can you please upload? Hey guys, can you send me the homework? All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to write this. You do not need to do this letter. We'll change. Uh, I'll give you another task for tomorrow. All right. So let's see here. It's a very simple letter, to be honest. We just need to. Uh, we just need to sharpen our skill to you know make complex and good some good sentences to express ourselves. So if you just go with the flow and just copy paste everything that you've written, obviously you're not going to be awarded with many, a lot of points and you'll not get very high score. Yeah, so you must be noticing uh, she's four, uh, 22 times since 14 years of old, uh, age. Okay, uh, well, okay, 19, and uh, then we have 20. Yes, yeah, so it's between one year, right? So we can also include that fainted two times since 14 years of age. So she had already four, uh, fainted uh, two times before she was 14, and then now she's 17. And uh, between last year and this year, she already had fainted twice. You can, you can put that, right? So uh, January 8th, this is the day, this is today, that's the day when, you know, we talked to her and we convinced her that uh, she has increased heart rate and therefore she uh, is agreeing to be referred to a, uh, to an ED doctor, right? So the question is, how do we start? It's very easy to do this. Uh, so in the introduction of the letter, syncope, frequent syncope, in increased heart rate and atrial fibrillation, you can write all of them, it's not a problem. So in the introduction of the letter, let's see. Uh, I hope you can see what I'm typing. Look at this one. So, uh, I am writing to refer um, Jen Smith, Miss Jen Smith. It's a very common name, Jen, no? Jennifer. Uh, Jen Smith, a 17 year old, a 17 year old. A final you can see what I'm typing right final year student a finer final year uh, student a final year PE student physical education that's what uh, is her thing yeah I am um, that's a course Finally, a PE student who has, who had, or who has had, had, or who had, or who is having, or who had, simply had, options, yeah, uh, frequent, uh, S-Y-N-C-O-P-A-L, syncopal, episodes, but you can write all of them, it's not a problem. Uh, rate and ATRI atrial fibrillation. 
she needs needs your further done that's it that's the introduction of the letter right please copy this yes sir then uh, we have our second paragraph yeah, i'm erasing this second paragraph so let's see if you just write if you make this one as one paragraph maybe combine this one also with uh, the first one and this one as the second paragraph or maybe you can combine that with this and um, that's it two paragraphs we can divide the letter but i don't recommend that anybody can do that even my daughter can do that what you have to see is that you need to you need to learn how to compare the two visits data visits like compare garibane i mean you are going to demonstrate different ways and style of writing and that is going to be favored that is going to be favorable for you yeah so let's check this all right <laughs> so uh let's start this Let's see uh jen had how many times was it in 2000 before 2014 yeah two fainting episodes jen has a history history of uh, having fainted before she was 14 years before she was 14 years old recently recently until recently around october capitalize on say october 2000 uh, october last year she collapsed copy paste basically after uh feeling lighted and dizzy after running are you and and i am running two kilometers in a race hmm? she then or at that time capitalize a at that time she thought changed tried to paraphrase a little bit and tried to transform she thought that cold and not eating e n o u g h enough was the reason falling yeah or collapsing or whatever you want reason or just you can put a full stop also it's okay yeah another yeah uh, the second episode happened this year yeah it happened this year i'm oh, sorry uh no it's the same year right uh happened In December in December in December when she felt dizzy while getting uh, Of the school bus. Please note, or it is worth mentioning. Yeah, I, oh, please forgive the spelling. I'm very bad at typing. You can also put it together. I mean, you could have also written uh, enough for the reason, and then you can you could have talked about the vitals there itself. 
but we're not going to do that. We're going to compare it. Please note, it is worth mentioning that on both or during both episodes, her uh, unconsciousness was for less than a minute. Less than a minute with elevated heart rate. Right, heart rate. Yeah. You get it. That's it. You can you can mention the heart rate. You can put it in the bracket. Uh, this and this respectively also can be done. I'm just giving you an outlook overall uh, how how should how it should look, right? After this, uh, there's also one more thing that to mention. Additionally, her classmates classmate had. Told her teacher mentioning that she was or she looked it says looking we can make it looked she looked comparatively comparatively or uh, simply uh, she was looking yeah C O M P A R T if you don't want, you can copy that also comparatively. Paler or more pale. Uh, she looked more and more pale. Let's more and more pale. Paler like More and more. Yeah. Iti by Pugia Lenny. After that, you can talk about the social history of the patient. She lives with a divorce. Maybe that is also putting additional stress to her. You can add you can add that as well. So this much you've written, right? After this. Regarding her, her social, social. So yeah. same paragraph. No, next one. Social medical background. Regarding her social medical background, here, yeah. uh, she is uh, a dean lister. One good topper uh, Dean Lister or Dean's Lister? Dean Lister, wait, let's see. Dean's Lister. He is a Dean's Lister. Yeah. Uh, her parents. Parents have divorced. They gave you our CD. Living with with her mother. She is. She is hesi hesitant. To disclose about her situation to her, to her mother, mother, as she thinks that it will be yeah. Today, today, you can change those if you want. Today, she visited the school. And it was. A council, as you can read, right, uh, was discussed about her uh, 
condition she also so mentions if you've used mention she also tells expresses the stress doesn't does you burden you can attach you can put it together in one group or one paragraph or it doesn't matter she was eventually she was eventually convinced or the ref referral Cute. heart rate pulse rate respiratory rate and blood pressure should always be written full remember yeah you can also add Yeah, this is the way to write the letter. I'll send you guys a recording of this thing. So even if you have missed out, it doesn't matter. You can also write conventionally, where first episode's detail, you write first, and then you write, okay, subsequently, October, when is it, November, December, after two months, she had the second episode while getting off the bus, and write the details there also. You can do that also, but it's not going to give you um more than c plus so if you are intending to get a b band you need to show a little bit of variation in your expression the way you write this go variation the kind uh let's go jump to speaking straight away All right, let's see this. Wait, uh, let's put it on the screen. Just a second, guys. Let me have a sip of water. All right, so let's see this speaking, okay? Let's try this one. I'll give you three minutes to prepare. doesn't matter even if you speak for two minutes it's okay
very easy. What do you need to do here? Is just prepare B1 and B3. And everything has already been given there. Everything is there. Everything, literally. E1, we can try E1 and trying to E1 like Mathi Lea on the 10 minute theater. Then uh, yeah. So A1. Yeah, you can plan, make a plan about E1, you can plan about B1, kind of questions that you're going to ask. Yeah, there are so many things. So they've already given you the hint that, you know, the patient is going to uh, travel to Cambodia and Vietnam. Yeah, but you can still make a question, B1 questions. You can have many questions. So you can design it as per your benefit. You can talk about the vaccination history. So D2, you have to use open questions. Sokdo mati mati open question use garne, tala tala tira garbachi. You have to use closed questions. So again, you can uh, use open questions. So where are you traveling? When are you traveling? Yeah. What about your vaccination history? Have you been vaccinated with tetanus, hepatitis A, and influenza? This kind of questions. Many questions, right? So the patient is going to give you some reply. Obviously, the patient is not going to be vaccinated. And then you have to make the patient believe. You know, B three, B three maniko, tei dira kosa, kina. High risk, medium risk, ke ke dira sa, yeah. So, uh, on a part part ma, we have to keep checking if the patient have under uh, pa patient has understood us or not. Do you get me? Do you understand me? Are we on the same page? Just to help with expressions or open, I'm ready to Hmm. Prepare it. So I'm. So I'll take minute thirty. Let's start it. Let's try. Go. Uh, Sony can start. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Sonisha. I'm one of the resistant nurses working in this clinic. Um, so uh, just for my confirmation, can I know your name? Ah, uh, my name is John. Okay, Mr. John, and what brought you here today? Oh, that's a mistake. No, no, come to Look at your first me. task. It says find out. You are the one who's going to initiate everything. Uh, no, I, I thought that you are here for clinic routine checkup. <laughs> Just for the confirmation. Okay, then. Uh, as for your case, Noor, I got to know that uh, you are traveling to overseas, right? Next oh, month. Yes. yes. And uh, uh, so, uh, um, and now, okay, then, um, so I'd like to ask you some um, questions like, uh, uh, like regarding your traveling, like, uh, occurring, uh, like about your vaccination history, um, okay, and, uh, um, like, uh, have you taken any kind of vaccination, like, in past, um, like, of uh, vaccination regarding titanus? Um, yes? Uh, yes, yes. 
Okay, and have you ever take uh, like hepatitis A vaccine? Well, I've, I've never had. Uh, I I don't even remember if I had taken. To be honest. Okay, and uh, what about influenza vaccine? Have you ever take that? Have you ever taken? Uh, no, I, I don't remember. I've not taken any vaccination uh, recently. Whatever I had taken, I think it was in the past when I was younger. Okay, okay Mr. Zun, I can understand. And um, so you have mentioned that you are traveling overseas next month. So uh, for how long you were going to? Like duration of your travel? I'm traveling there for maybe one to two months. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm traveling for work. Okay, that's good. Um, and uh, as I got to know that you have you have no idea like you were vaccinated or not, but um, you know as you you going uh, uh, like oh, next month uh, for uh, your work, uh, then uh, you need to get vaccinated, like um, uh, regarding like typhoid, hepatitis A, and tetanus. Uh, you know. Uh, this has been recommended by uh, World Health Organization uh, for those travelers uh, that going to the um, um, certain countries. So, uh, which country are you going? Planning to go? I'm going to uh, Cambodia and Vietnam both. Oh, um, Mr. Mr. John, uh, that means that as I told you that uh, WHO has uh, recommended that um, for certain countries and uh, the can the the country you have mentioned, like Cambodia and Vietnam, these are and the list of WHO. Um, these are the medium risk countries. Okay, uh, so it's a so you need to be vaccinated, uh, like regarding the typhoid, hepatitis A, and tetanus. So, are you getting me? But uh, why should I be vaccinated? Uh, I have been to these countries before in the past. Nothing has ever happened to me. Moreover, I'm going to stay in a five-star resort that's going to be clean and not going to come in contact with any people. So why do I need to be vaccinated? And I've heard that, you know, vaccinations are unnecessary. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I can understand that uh, you don't want to get vaccinated. But uh, as I told you, that uh, uh, the country you have mentioned, these are the risk, medium risk countries, but... Uh, um, also, the uh, World Health Organization has recommended this for all those travelers, yes, yeah, who have been traveling to Cambodia and uh, um, and Vietnam. So uh, it's a uh, very uh, essential for you. And uh, if you get vaccinated, then that will be uh, profitable for you too. Um, and I think it's uh, very important to be vaccinated. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, there are lots of import, the, you know, the importance of uh, getting vaccine is uh, um, uh, very necessary and um, it's very important to get vaccinated. Um, it's like uh, it has been updated, um, like uh, if you are traveling abroad, then uh, like uh, prior to weeks that you, if you get vaccinated then that will be benefit for you yes are you following me mm -hmm. yes i understand yes mr zone so um as i've been telling you that and again i'd like to tell you this uh, um titanus and this can be fatal and uh, and uh, needs to be administered uh once every 10 years all right and um, so you as you mentioned earlier that you haven't uh, vaccinated um so you need it and uh, and also a combined vaccination can be given for hepatitis a and uh, and after that the um, after six months you need a booster vaccine all right are you okay. kidding me mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Zone. Um, then, so is there anything you would like to know more? Uh, no, I'm quite all right for now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me if uh, the vaccinations are painful? Yes, I totally can understand. For instance, you haven't had any vaccination, so it's uh, natural to think like that. But uh, 
um, just as let me reassure you that uh, this vaccination are not painful and uh, and you'll uh, you'll feel well after getting it so this is totally safe and um, not either painful too so is that okay if we provide you with vaccines yeah yes this is an okay that sounds cool so Again, I I'm, I like to tell you that uh, you are um, traveling overseas, so uh, this vaccine uh, that we will provide you is totally safe and it's not painful too, and uh, is uh, just uh, that uh, uh, WHO has recommended this for the travelers too, so it's uh, very necessary for you to be vaccinated. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, stop. 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 No, no, no. We're speaking everything, but they're not on point. Let's uh, see. Sumina, you can try. Hello. Good Good afternoon. I'm Sumina, one of the nurses working in this nurses. clinic. Nurses mm -hmm. working in this clinic. As I was in your case note, I get to know that you were traveling next month. Uh, can I ask you a quick question? You work, you are. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, when are you traveling? I'm uh, going maybe in uh, two weeks, maybe in two or three uh, weeks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which country? Uh, I'm traveling to Cambodia and Vietnam, both. Okay. All right. Do you uh, vaccinated before? Do you have Any you been kind vaccinated? Of vaccine? Do, do you vac get vaccine, any kind of vaccine before? I don't remember. Okay. Um, it is very important to get a uh, vaccine before traveling. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you already told me you, you didn't um, had any vaccine. Uh, so it is very important uh, while you are traveling in um, those two um, countries. Which, uh, sorry, which country you said you are traveling? Uh, Cambodia and Vietnam. Okay, Cambodia and Vietnam. Also, it is very important um, to get vaccine um, while you're traveling these two countries, these high risk countries. Like you have, you have to vaccinate it for, um, against for typhoid, um, tetanus, and influenza. Are you getting me? Yes, but I don't want to be vaccinated. I've been to these countries before. It was just last year. And nothing has ever happened to me. And uh, okay. why do I need to get unnecessary vaccination when I'm going to stay inside a five-star resort? I don't think I'm going to be in contact with anybody. Okay, all right. I understand your um, situation, but uh, WHO has recommended for uh, um, you know our safety before traveling. You have to be vaccinated. All these kind of uh, vaccine like tetanus, I already told you, tetanus, hepatitis A, and influenza. Um, uh, so before, prior to you go to this Cambodia and Vietnam country, um, it's for our safety, you know. So you should be vaccinated before you go to this country. Are you getting me? Okay. And it is very important to uh, vaccinate it. And, you know, we never know what will happen uh, while traveling in foreign country, you know. That's why it's better to be um, safety. And it is very important. Mm. Are you understanding me? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. And, uh, you know, um, uh, vaccine is... Um, uh, important and before you traveling uh, you said you are traveling two weeks uh, later so you should be vaccinated two weeks prior to traveling abroad and uh, the, I already told you which uh, vaccine are to be vaccinated to you so um, I already told you like why it is important uh, it is um, important for our own safety and uh, and uh, hmm. and uh, 
um, tetanus um, tetanus can be fatal and uh, you know you can get um, vaccine in every 10 years and uh, um, a combined vaccine can be given for uh, hepatitis A and typhoid and uh, after six months you can get a booster dose. Mm -hmm. um, how does that sound? Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. And is there anything you like to ask me? Yeah, what about the vaccination process? Is it going to be painful? Um, um, I can understand your concern, but um, it for probably not pain. Like it is, it will be pain totally. Um, not that painful, and uh, um, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, okay, you will be fine after you get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Do the closing. E E four. E five. Where are those things? You can do the closing. Finish it. Okay. Anyway, stop. Uh, no, you're talking by yourself. You're not. Let, it's not a role play. It's a monologue. Okay. Uh, let's see who's going to do it. Sanju, you can try. Good evening. Hello. Um, my name is Sanju, and I'm resident nurse and working and I'm here to assist you today. So uh, how may I address you? Can okay, I John. have your name please? My name is John. Sorry? My name is John. Okay. John. Okay. Um, so uh, as per your report says that you are traveling overseas next month. Is this right? Mr. Yeah, that's John? Correct. yeah, that's correct. Okay. So can I, can I ask you some questions regarding vaccinations? Yes, sure. All right then. Okay. Um, have you ever vaccinated? Is there, have you ever vaccinated? Been vaccinated? Um, I don't been remember. Vaccinated. I think I, I must have been vaccinated when I was younger, but not recently for sure. Okay. 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 So, um, so okay. You were. Uh, you were. You were vaccinated when you were young, but not now. So uh, as for your reports, I say you are traveling overseas. Uh, let me tell you that you have to get vaccinated against typhoid, hepatitis A and tetanus because this is uh, recommended by WHO who are traveling. Oh, may I? It's good. May I ask you in which country you're traveling to? To which country? Uh, I'm traveling to Cambodia and Vietnam. Okay, Cambodian back nine. Okay, so let me tell you if you're traveling to this Cambodian and Vietnam, so you have to get vaccinated against typhoid, hepatitis A, and tetanus, which is recommended by WHO. Are you getting me? But I don't want to be vaccinated. I've been there before many times and nothing has ever happened to me. And I'm going to stay inside a five star resort. So why do I need unnecessary vaccination? Yeah, I do understand your queries. I understand your worries as well. So, as I told you earlier, this is the these are the vaccines recommended by WHO who are traveling to Cambodia and Vietnam because it's a medium risk country. So it's better, you know, for yourself for your own safety to get vaccinated if you're traveling to Cambodia and Vietnam countries. Okay. So. Uh, is there any good? Good, keep going. Okay, take this out. It's good. So, um, have you? It's good. Ask if there's any question. Okay, sorry. Uh, is there any questions you want to know? Oh, uh, yes. What about the procedure itself? Is it painful? Um, I understand your worries again. Well, um, let me tell you, this is uh, these vaccinations are not painful. It's done really well. Uh, mm -hmm. Explain a little bit, yeah, and then. 
Sorry, sir. Keep talking, whatever you can, doesn't matter. Okay, um, let me tell you something about the vaccinations. Okay, these are, uh, uh, you have to get vaccinated, updated at least two weeks prior traveling to any country, especially this uh, Vietnam and Cambodia, because titanus can be fatal and vaccinations needs to be administered once in every 10 years. Okay, this uh, combined vaccination can be given for hepatitis A and typhoid now and a booster dose after every six months. Are you getting my points, Mr. Uh, John? Yes. Okay, so do you have any queries you want to know about? No. It? So, so okay. this is... Okay, it's not bad. Four minutes, 14 seconds. I'll tell you how to stretch it in a while. Wait. Okay, who else want to try here? Sulochna, you want to try? Okay, very simple, straightforward. Uh, so let me tell you how, do you, how, do, how it's done. Introduction is fine. So um, I am blah, blah. I am one of the attending nurses here. I'm, here. I'm the nurse on duty here at the clinic. Yes. By looking at the note, um, I've come to know that you're traveling abroad, right? And uh, the GP has uh, sent you to me to talk about the immunization prior to international travel. You are aware of this, right? Okay, by the way, I forgot to ask your name. How may I address you? John. Okay, John. Tell me, first of all, which country are you traveling to? Cambodia and Vietnam, I'm saying. No. Oh, uh, they're beautiful countries. I hope you're going to have a lovely time there. So when exactly are you traveling? Oh, all right, in two weeks. Okay, so uh, let me inform you uh, that uh, prior to traveling to these countries, uh, there's a standard protocol that you are vaccinated against tetanus, hepatitis A, influenza, and typhoid. Have you heard about this? Uh, these vaccines patient they want to maybe yes maybe no have you ever been vaccinated against them do you recall or do you remember any patient they want to no so in that case let me tell you that you have to go through this vaccination it's very important prior to the travel as the who the world health organization categorizes these uh, two countries as medium risk country that means when you enter this country there is a risk of you contracting all these illnesses that i just mentioned a while ago are you understanding me? Uh, so will you get vaccinated? Patient Levan said, no. Why do I need to get unnecessary vaccination? Blah, 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 blah. The patient says, okay, I appreciate your concern. Of course, I understand what you're saying. You can give this kind of statement. Uh, let me tell you, John, that uh, um, it's good that you've been there and nothing has ever happened, but there is always a risk. Even one in a million if there is a possibility of you contracting these illnesses, it's going to trouble you, it's going to bother you in a foreign land. So why not to be safe? Yeah. If one or two shots, one or two jabs, one or two injections can make you safe for an extended period of time and you can uh, travel carefree, then why would you not go for it? Do you get me? So influenza is, is a normal thing. It gets better on its own, but typhoid also can be managed with medication. But if, if anybody contracts tetanus, that can be fatal. Hepatitis can severely affect your liver. So these are uh, dangerous diseases. So just a few shots, if it uh, protects you, then uh, you should go for it. Don't you think so? Patient will agree. The interlocutors are trained in such a way that if you give a, given, give a convincing answer, that's going to be good. Patient says, and regarding the stay that you're saying in the uh, five-star resort, see, these diseases just not uh, get transmitted, just do not get transmitted through contact with people, but also from uh, food, from soil, from water, you know? So uh, I suggest you to get vaccinated and be fully safe before traveling. Are you understanding me? So will you get vaccinated? You should always ask this question. Will you get vaccinated now? Okay, yes. So uh, let me arrange a, a schedule. So how about I book you maybe a week prior to vaccination? Uh, so prior to travel, will that be okay? So uh, today is Tuesday. How about, uh, you can even give an example like uh, 22nd January. Will that be okay? Are you available? You can even add this kind of details into the, into the speaking. After that, uh, are you understanding me? And then, so uh, let me also tell you, or I really forgot right now. So I can say that, okay, I, I forgot, but let me tell you that, you know, tetanus, uh, sorry, hepatitis and typhoid, these two, um, 
uh, conditions, you know, these diseases, diseases, the vaccination for these diseases are available in booster form. So just taking one shot is going to suffice, is going to be enough for protection, okay? Are you getting me? All right, and uh, booster has to be taken after six months. I'm going to write it on your card and you're going to be, I'm going to arrange a schedule for you. Is that okay? All right. Uh, do you have any questions? Any Anything that's bothering you? Uh, is it painful? Oh, that's a valid concern. Yes, uh, it will be like an ant bite, basically. It will be like a prick. Mm, it's not going to hurt you. Um, and uh, generally, everything is um, safe. And uh, there's not going to be any problem throughout the, uh, during the vaccination. Uh, you can have a little bit of fever or maybe a little bit of, you know, soreness or tenderness around the area where, where you are injected. But that's quite normal. It subsides usually in a day or two. Are you understanding me? Do you have any questions? If the interlocutor doesn't stop you, then what you can say? I know, John, you're concerned about traveling abroad. Yes, not concerned, sorry. You're concerned about the vaccination. Uh, but I've already explained to you the importance of vaccination and the uh, um, protocols that the WHO has set. And this is for your own good, you know. And if you get vaccinated, you're going to be safe. Not just for now, for but for many um, visits that you can have in future. Are you getting me? So let me arrange the schedule for you. All right, will you, uh, will, I'll inform you. If you have any questions related to the vaccination or your health, you can let me know. I'll be here at the clinic. That's the way to talk, yeah? You can add details into the conversation. And remember, if the patient is saying that, you know, okay, I've, uh, I've been there, I'm going to stay in the resort, you should give an answer for that. Give an answer for that also, that B2. B2 means you're not picking up the patient's cues. B2 means? Patient that they go sunk it, satisfactory answer DNA sakino. You have to add that as well. If you can, obviously. So I've, I've whatever I've told you, whatever the suggestions that I've, that I've given you, they, they, that's the best version. Right? You can also add questions. Are you traveling for uh, work or pleasure? Yeah, I think it's already given there somewhere that he's going for work, but you can pretend that you don't know. And uh, you can make make that as question as well. So A1, A4, B1. So A4, you cannot say, I'm sorry to hear this in this situation. Oh, those are beautiful countries. I hope you have, an, you have a good time there. There's also A4, isn't it? Sympathy, empathy, remember A4. B1, we already have asked tons of questions. B3 is the summary, uh, the WHO and all those things. And what are you, what is your opinion for somebody who's going to travel abroad? That part, and then you've talked everything basically, E1. Oh, I forgot E1. I always forget E1. That's uh, such a funny thing, you know. That's my kryptonite. I always make mistake with E1. You can add E1 also somewhere, you know. Do you know the importance of getting vaccinated? I gave a reason, but I didn't ask this question. So that could have been E1 there as well, right? And towards the end, if you have anything left, you can double check with the patient if there are any questions. If not, then you summarize the whole thing, but don't use the word summary or let me recapitulate or those things in your, in your conversation. Yeah? I hope you get me. So uh, I've uh, recorded this session. I'll, I'll send it to you guys. And please, uh, whatever the scripts are, whatever I've told you, please memorize. And if you see any such questions, if you see any such cue cards in the future, you can use the experience from here for the future. Right? All right, I'm going to send you guys a homework for tomorrow. Just a second.